Hello YouTube and welcome back to another one of my videos. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about something really stupid that I did. This is like incredibly stupid. Which is why it's going to be the first video of a series I'm starting called I'm an Idiot. So the title of this is I'm an Idiot Storytime Part 1. Because there's going to be many parts to this. Because every... like. This happens so often to me where I do something that's just like super stupid. I think we all do stupid things. Now it's nothing harmful or like dangerous. It's just like, why wasn't I thinking clearly in this situation? So I just figured I'd make a series to showcase all of these moments in my life that I feel like I'm an idiot. Um, so I have this box. I'm naming it the Box of Stupidity. And at the end of each year, I'm going to be going through all the items inside of it, even though I've already made videos about them, just to kind of like go over all of the stupid, stupid things that I have done. I mean, I don't like to think of myself as an idiot. Like, I think I'm smart. I'm, I mean, I get good grades in school and everything, but this was stupid. This was just stupid. So let's just get on with this. Um, I'm going to open up the box. This is a bike clock. Um, I'm not going to explain to you what happened to the bike clock until after I describe the day. Because this factors in. So here's the bike clock. Here's the part that should come apart. And here's like right in the center of the bike clock. I'm not going to show you what else is in the box if you didn't just hear that. So this all started um, yesterday. Yesterday morning to be exact. Um, I woke up to my alarm around 6.30, the time that I wanted to get up for summer gym. Um, I woke up, I shut my alarm off, but I was still really tired from work the previous night and fell back asleep. Um, I then woke up at 7.31, 29 minutes before summer gym starts. Now, I've gotten up and gotten ready, like, within 10 minutes before, so it was no problem. I rode my bike there really fast, but... Okay, wait, we're gonna save that for later. <laughs> I'm not gonna say what I was about to say. So I get to school, I lock my bike lock, I go into the building, I, like, talk to my little group of friends, you know, and then I continue on my day. Well, summer gym goes through, you know, it was a good day. We did yoga. Like, it was really relaxing. I was, so I was kind of relaxed, you know, in a good place. And then I start looking for my bike lock key. And it's not in my bag. I, I dump out my bag. I'm, like, freaking out. I'm telling my friend to help me look for it. She tells me to dump out my bag again and just look through all the little pockets and just anywhere. I check my actual pockets. I ask all the teachers that I can. We walk to all the little stations we went to that day to uh, try to see if the keys had fallen out somewhere. And little old Taylor decided that the two keys that he got with his bike lock, he left them on the same chain. So if I were to have actually lost them, you'll learn more about later, um, then I would have, then I could have had a second one in a safe place. Like I could have just walked home and came back to the school. Well, I remember having my keys today because I always make the joke because everyone like has car keys, you know. And I have bike lock keys. So I'm like, hey, look at my bike lock keys. And I remember doing that. My friends even remember doing it. And at this point, I'm not thinking clearly. I'm just frustrated. I just got the bike lock like five days earlier. And I knew that I was going to have to break this bike lock. So um, I find our janitor. And thank goodness he has a bolt cutter. And we cut the lock. <laughs> So here's the here's my broken bike lock that's going in the box of stupidity that I'm keeping all year. And now for the other item. Which you if you haven't guessed yet, it's the keys to my bike lock. Which when I got home, were sitting on my nightstand. Now since I decided to fall back asleep after I shut my alarm off, it caused me to have to get ready really early causing me to leave my bike lock keys on my nightstand. I left the house, went to school, not knowing any of this was going to happen, but it did. <laughs> so, yeah, this is useless. It's just kind of there to remind me of this idiot moment in my life. 
but I got this new one and I learned from this lesson that I am bad at keeping keys and keeping track of things and I got a bike lock with the combination. Um, yeah, I like this one. It's a nice color. I mean, the other one was, was black. This one's gray. So like, I don't know. I mean, I would have preferred blue, but oh, well, uh, <laughs> they didn't have blue, but I do like this bike lock. And if I do somehow forget the combination, which I do already have memorized by the way, and in my phone notes, then it looks like I can cut this with a bolt cutter again and then make another video about it. But, um, yeah, I guess the moral of this story is to just, like, not be an idiot. I mean, I can't blame anyone but myself, and that's about it. So, if you're still here, thank you so much for watching this whole video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the kickoff to my series of I'm an Idiot. Uh, sorry that I haven't posted in a while. I've just, I started a new job. I'm still, I'm working two jobs right now and I just have summer gym and I've been busy. I mean, there's no excuse. Like I make my posting schedule so I, so I, uh, I should be able to like actually post when I say I'm going to, but thanks again for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Please can't speak today. Oh, please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, and subscribe if you're new here, and then comment if you've ever done anything stupid like this. Uh, thank you. Peace out. <laughs>